For the first time, Kantar has conducted an analysis of the world's biggest attitudinal database, Brand-Z, with the largest global behavioural dataset, WorldPanel. Using our externally validated, meaningful, different and salient framework, we've analysed how people feel and act over the last 10 years to bring you the evidence on what drives true, sustainable business growth. We're excited to introduce you to the Blueprint for Brand Growth, the evidence-based framework that defines the future of marketing. First and foremost, to grow share, you need to grow penetration, attract more people. That sounds simple, but how do you do this? By being meaningfully different to more people. That's our growth driver. Being meaningfully different increases the probability of future growth and allows you to charge and maintain a price premium. Our data shows that if your brand is meaningfully different to more people, five times as many people will buy you. Even more importantly, it gives you a better chance of significant future penetration growth. Marketers can operationalise this via three growth accelerators, which are interconnected. First, predispose more people. Predisposition is a sense people have that your brand is the right choice, a positive bias that gives it a head start. Predisposition is not the same as loyalty. Brand loyalty doesn't really exist. The way brands build predisposition is through all the interactions and touch points that they have with consumers. These interactions can be summarised as exposures and experiences advertising and all other marketing activities. Kantar data shows that brands that people are strongly predisposed to have nine times the volume share, command two times the price, and have four times the likelihood to grow value share in the future than brands with weaker predisposition. To do this, you need to value high quality creative that is consistent over time and allocate your media investment across markets and categories first, then assess for effectiveness across touch points and your long and short term objectives. Predisposition also helps with repeat purchase. We see that previous buyers with strong predisposition for a brand are twice as likely to buy it again than those who had previously bought it but didn't have strong predisposition. Once you've predisposed more people, you can move on to the second growth accelerator. Be more present. You need to optimise marketing investments in product range, distribution, pack and pricing, promotions, customer journey and other activity to ensure you have the right availability and visibility to convert predisposed people and capture choices from other brands. Our study shows that brands that are always present attract seven times more buyers compared to those present on just one half of buying occasions. And there's always room for improvement. Only the top 5% of brands have a category presence of over 80%. Being more present makes your brand easier to choose. Brands need to be where the choices are being made. Strong and distinctive brand assets aid recognition in a fragmented world. Then you need to move on to the third growth accelerator, find new space. You need to define your category and find the most incremental spaces that your brand can stretch into. You can win in these new spaces through meaningfully different innovation, expanded distribution and communications. Depending on the category and your brand's maturity, redefine the business you're in so you can optimally stretch into new motivations, occasions, categories and services to keep growing. Our data shows that a brand that covers more demand moments grows disproportionately. For example, brands that stretch into incremental usage or consumption occasions have double the chance of growth versus those that don't. Stretching a brand to cover 10% more of the available needs and consumption moments of the category leads to 17% brand growth. Incremental growth is reliant on existing buyers buying more and getting new people to shop the category for the first time. 
small brands need to disrupt default buying behaviours to steal existing category buyers from bigger competitors. And bigger brands need to break boundaries, push the definition of their category, spot the peripheral and future needs, and step up to address them. Depending on your brand's starting point, you will need to lean into one or more of the growth accelerators and take different actions. So our experts have created starting grids to identify the right questions and help your brand grow. Through the blueprint, you can diagnose your brand's position and be pinpointed towards the right path for growth. For example, by finding new space and more specifically, whether you need to explore and convert your momentum within category, or if you need to redefine the business you think you're in, or focus more on category needs. Today, we're excited to bring you the Blueprint for Brand Growth, a rock-solid guide to help you build strong and profitable brands, so you know where to prioritise your marketing efforts. We're excited about where the Blueprint can take your brand.